Hello, I am Foligon, and very quickly, I'm going to show you guys how you can fix scale in ZBrush. Uh, so have you ever been in a situation where you're sculpting on a model, or at least trying to sculpt on a model, and some of your brushes are acting a little weird or, or different than you would expect them to, or your draw size for your brush can only be extremely small, and if you try to increase the size at all, it'll completely disappear and vanish off of your screen or just be super huge and annoying like this. Well, let me go ahead and show you how you can fix that very quickly and briefly explain what's going on here. So ZBrush works best at a scale of two units cubed for all of your objects. And you can find this under tool geometry size. And if we look at this object, the scale is closer to about 0.3 units cubed right now. And this happens by essentially importing models from other applications. So what we want to do is before importing an object in the future, make sure we go into our export settings and make sure that everything here is set to 1, 0, 0, 0. And essentially what this says is that when you import and export anything into this tool at this scale factor, it will come in at that exact size. So currently, I believe that was set to around something like 27. Essentially what that means is if I were to export this object, it would be 27 times the, the scale of what I'm essentially looking at right now. So 27 times all these dimensions here located in your size parameters. Also, if you want to use something like your transpose line to measure anything, which is a nice little handy tool and trick, shows the units up here, it will be 27 multiplied by whatever your, uh, your unit of your measurement is here in your transpose line. So real quick, I'll set this to 1, or not 2, but 1, and you'll see that the measurement right here, 0.3 units, is a lot closer to what we would see for the y height there. So that's just a quick rough draw out of the transpose line to show that. But essentially, the point that I'm attempting to get across here is you always want to keep this at 1 and then 0 for the rest of your offsets. And then from there, it's still going to have some issues with sculpting on your mesh at a really small or really large scale. But to essentially fix this very quickly, what I'll do is go up into my Z plugin menu under Transpose Master and click on T Pose Mesh. After that's done, scroll on down in Tool, Deformation, and click on Unify. Essentially what Unify does is it will center your object in the world space. If you look under Position, your XYZ coordinates will be at zero, and it will attempt to make the size of your object as close to two units cubed as possible. And that is the size that things work best at in ZBrush get very small, things start getting a little wonky, and the same thing happens if you get too large. So after you're done clicking Deformation, go back up into Z Plugin, click on T-Pose Sub-T, and we'll get all that back, and now all of our individual subtools will be uh, at the appropriate scale for us to continue working on them from here. If you found this video helpful, check out gumroad.com slash Foligon, where I have even more tutorials, courses, brushes, materials, all the stuff that I use professionally for my work. Check it out, there's a link down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day.